I like to think I'm pretty selective with what Discord servers I follow. If it's really busy with not enough interesting subjects or people that I care about to keep tabs on, I have them in a folder that I barely touch. I only check a couple servers, most of which have low to moderate activity. But there's one that I always pop into with over 600 members, so it's very active. Definitive Anime Chat thing is a really wholesome, welcoming server that encourages the kind of anime fandom I like to see. They always have well-run group watches going on, active and friendly moderators, but there's one channel I'm constantly lurking on and catching up to. It's their screen cap spam channel. That's my favorite channel on any Discord server, which is kind of a weird statement to make if you use Discord. <laughs> It's a channel dedicated to dumping screen captures, or screen caps, of whatever anime you're watching, and it's a culture I'd like to explore and indulge in a bit. Screen capping is a habit of documenting and or sharing your experience with an anime or film. Cappers have a hotkey assigned to their keyboard when they watch, and it's often instinctual to hit the button the moment they see a shot they like, and it gets automatically saved to a folder. Because it's so instinctual, this winds up accruing hundreds or thousands of screen caps from just a single show. It can be a private collection, or you can share the best ones, or just spam all of them. The opinion of the capper in question hardly ever comes with it, though it's certainly welcome. I usually like when there isn't much commentary to it, you purely let the anime or film speak for itself. It's often shared in dedicated servers like Screencap Spam, but it can also be shared on social media like Twitter threads, and you can constantly add to the thread as you progress through the show. Even a 20 minute one-off OVA has tens of thousands of unique frames to share, and you can share anything from beautiful backgrounds to fun character expressions to a memorable line of dialogue. Since these screen caps are often being captured while the anime is playing, subs are usually kept on, but most have the option to be turned off if you want. Even the smallest moments, like smears that you have to pause and go frame by frame to capture, are also good material. The only thing you don't often see is explicitly story-centered moments. Of course you can cap anything and everything, spoilers and all, so long as you warn people of spoilers if you intend to share. But this is by no means supposed to be a summary of what you're watching. It's purely an experiential record, like a diary. So there's really no wrong way to go about this. So what's the fun of taking screen caps? Even just on a private level where you don't intend to share, it's a way to build a collection or a tangible record of what you watched. Especially if you watch a ton of anime, it can be easy to forget many details of your experience, like which episode did this moment happen? Depending on your settings, screen caps can be automatically labeled with when a screen cap was taken. But even still, there's a great website you can use that has a massive database to help you find the precise location. But there's still more you can do with them than just collecting and looking back at them. Collages are a whole other subset of anime fandom that I'd probably make a separate video about, but a bulk of the process of making a collage of your favorites is selection. And if you have a whole library of screen caps, you don't have to go back and hunt for them. It makes the process all the more easier. my favorite reason to take screen caps is to make stitches. In a lot of older anime especially, the camera pans across one huge still image like a painted background to simulate camera motion, but you never see that image in one huge unbroken piece, unless you stitch those individual shots together using tools like Photoshop, which is a way of seeing these scenes or backgrounds in a more stunning, impressive light. However, 
However, sharing is caring. That's where I think the best qualities of screen capping shine. The reason I keep coming back to check on this screen cap spam channel is the chance to experience anime I've yet to check out myself, or even re-experience anime I've already seen. To see new things and be surprised or delighted by an evocative shot or funny moment is addicting, especially since there's barely any time commitment attached to it, compared to watching the anime yourself. These are shots you would never otherwise see or even imagine, judging just off the title or cover. All too often you'll see a screen cap and go, whoa, what's that from? It entices you to see the anime yourself. But there's also rare moments when the cap is actually from a show you've already seen, and you just didn't remember. Which of course makes you want to watch that anime all over again. But even if you do instantly recognize the show it's from, if it's one of your favorites, there's this odd sense of excitement and fun in seeing strangers relish in the experience you had for the first time. This happens especially with Ojimanjo Doremi in the server. There's just some shots that everyone can't help but screen cap, but even if we've all seen that exact same shot dozens of times, we're still happy to see it again. Like, oh, you're at that episode, you're, you're, you know, yeah. <laughs> Screen caps can even permeate into the culture of the server itself with custom emojis and bots that can randomly generate a themed screen cap, like good morning or sleep. Screen capping, I think, is the greatest source of curiosity, documentation, and vicarious joy that I know in anime fandom. It almost beats literally watching anime. <laughs> Though, admittedly, it's something I like to consume passively rather than actively participate in. It's something more that I appreciate rather than feel the urge to do myself, I guess. A common sentiment that I hear from screen cappers is like how long it takes them to finish an episode. All those times you feel like rewinding to take a screen cap or having to go frame by frame to get all these smears or lining it up just right to catch that scene at the perfect time and then going about sharing it on other platforms. It's, it's not as quick as just watching it uninterrupted. I can imagine some others might see it as immersion breaking, but for a lot of these fans, that really isn't so much of a problem. If anything, it's just another layer of engagement with the work, instead of just passive consumption. There's probably other side effects that can come with capping, like becoming overwhelmed with how many screen caps you're taking, or just being too hyper-selective or not selective enough so you have a bunch of random duplicates. Again, I'm not really someone who does it myself, maybe I should ask someone, <laughs> but I just wanted to talk about it because I just find it really interesting. And any of these downsides that I could probably come up with really don't come close to the number of upsides. I'm very glad to know there's a community that takes part in something like this. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying these uh, smaller rumination videos while I slave away at these big two-hour mammoths that I just can't shut up about. Uh, here, have a taste of that. They always inexplicably know how to pilot it from the word go. You can watch over 40 minutes of that content by becoming a patron at any level, like these folks who make it all possible including Aochi, Beamburst, Beyond Ghibli, Cam, El Prozorino, Luke Morph, Ginko Taku, Hazel, Jackson, Jawburst, Lone Crit, My Anime Pod, Najbeb, Rikafag, Rudolph, Seaweed Ambassador, Tangoon, Tippy Mango, Unique Nemesaurus, and Yellow Cheese. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again. <laughs>